Hi everybody, welcome to this yoga class from House of Biloka. My name is Linda Nawal. I'm very happy that you're here and joining me today. This is the third video I recorded, so know that there are two previous ones on the website from House of Biloka that you can watch and do if you like. What we did in the two previous videos are some of the same movements you will see today, but we used a different approach. Um, for example, the first one was mostly done on a chair, sitting on the chair, standing next to it. And also the second one we built up a little bit, but still used the chair quite a bit. Today I'm sitting on the mat on a pillow, but I also brought a um, little stool with me that you can use for example transitions from the floor to coming up sta to standing. What I wanted to show you in the previous videos is that a lot of the things that are usually been done on the mat can be done on a chair. So I am starting here sitting on the mat, but you can start sitting on your chair or even your couch, for example. What I will be doing today is use yoga blocks. We haven't used them yet. Um, but I'm a huge fan of these yoga blocks. These are Kirk ones. If you lay them down like this, this is the flat side. So this is the lowest height. And then obviously when you change it like this, it comes a little bit higher and then even higher than that. And because you usually have two, you kind of can stock them however you want and get as high as you need to be. Obviously, when you stack them um, like this, they become less stable than you would, for example, stack them like this. Um, so it kind of depends on where you need it for. Um, huge help in a lot of the poses and transitions that we uh, do regularly in yoga. So for some you might use your stool or the wall and for some you might use yoga blocks. So if you don't have any, um, uh, you can use like a stool, uh, a pillow or anything like that, but mm, try to get some because they're extremely helpful. Okay. For now, we're not using them yet. Please come and find a comfortable seat and then join me. I hope you find your comfortable seat. I am sitting a little bit higher with my sitting bones on a meditation cushion. Um, and therefore, I can relax my legs a little bit. And therefore, my knees also go a little bit more to the ground. You can have your legs anywhere you want to for this first um, few, for these first few minutes. And like I said, you can also do it on the chair. We've done that last video, so why not? Okay, come and sit. And then close your eyes for a few breaths here. We're going to use these first couple of minutes to kind of check in with ourselves and also a little bit landing here in the moment on our mat. So what we're looking for is all these places where you touch the surface. So probably your sitting bones. your hips, your legs, your feet and ankles. Your hands are resting either on top of your thighs or in your lap. And if you're sitting on a chair, you might feel the bottom of your feet touching the surface below you. So bring your attention to these points and feel a little bit grounded here. You feel supported by whatever you're sitting on. That will help you relax this lower body here. Maybe you want to sit up a little bit more. Open the front of the body, the chest, lowering the shoulders here. Like you're being kind of pulled towards the ceiling from the top of your head. Take 
take a few deep breaths here. Maybe even follow your in and exhale here with the hands on your belly. Try to get your breath a little bit lower, a little bit softer and slower. And it will help you get your attention in your body. And this will help with this mind-body connection. Okay, then blink open your eyes and get a soft gaze on the floor would be enough. You move your hands towards your knees and either sit on your pillow or like me, take it to the side. Because we're going to do cat-cow here. So we're lengthening the front of the body while moving the chest or opening the chest and bringing your shoulder blades together. We're kind of lifting the tailbone off the floor on an inhale and then bring that tailbone down to the floor or whatever you're sitting on and then move a little bit back. Um, exhale here, round your back. Okay, keep moving like this. Inhale, you're opening up the front of the body. Exhale. You're opening up the back of the body here, actually. Okay, keep moving in your own pace. You don't have to go too quick. Just really feel what's going on in your hips, in your shoulders, in your back. And everything that is connected to it. Okay, when you uh, are in the front, we're going to move to the side, then to the back, to the other side, and back to the front. We're going to make a little circles with our upper body. And we're not just moving from the hips, but we try to move from the whole back and the shoulders as well. So we're keeping this round, round back when we move um, back and exhale. And we're opening up the front if we inhale. Okay, do that a few more times. And then we come back to the middle. Okay, take your right arm next to you on the floor, on the surface of a chair or your couch, wherever you are. Take your left one overhead and come to your side bend here. Try to see if you get your left sitting bone a little bit back to the floor, reaching with your left arm. And then come up on an inhale and switch sides. With your left hand here on the floor, your right arm goes overhead. And remember, you can also bend here your right arm and put your hand on top of your head if that feels more accessible for your right shoulder here. Okay, inhale here, we kind of turn. So place your hands behind you on the floor or grab something you can grab hold of if you're sitting on a chair. Your left hand goes on the outside of your right leg. So you help yourself a little bit in this twist. Inhale and exhale here one more time. And then come back to the middle. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Bring your left arm around, right hand on the outside of your leg or just hold your knee here. And help yourself a little bit in this twist. Okay, last in and exhale here, and then you come back to the middle. 
Okay, sitting in the middle, we're taking our arms overhead, circle sweep them up. On an inhale, on an exhale, you let your hands lower in front of your chest. On an inhale, you breathe in, and on an exhale, you kind of pushing them down to the floor. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, keep doing that for three more times at your own pace. Find your own rhythm. You can close your eyes here if you want. Okay, last time here. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, soften a little bit in your upper body. Inhale and then push your arms back to the floor. Okay, grab something behind you, either the floor or lean a little bit back and then straighten out your legs here a little bit so you can kind of shake them out. Okay, then we're gonna come up. So you can put your hands to the side, take all your, both your legs to the side and come to tabletop position from here. Okay, you find um, uh, placing for your, your hands are a little bit under your shoulders so that you feel supported, your knees under your hips, you feel supported. Okay, we're gonna do a few things on hands and knees. Um, if you are on a hard surface or you have sensitive knees, please put something underneath your knees. It could be a blanket, a pillow, anything you like, you like to have. Um, you will notice that if you're not used to sitting like this, sitting like, you know, this tabletop position, you will find that this pressure on your wrist and your knees could be a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. It will get better, but it also helps if you put something more padding on there. Um, what also helps is, and I will show you that right now, is that instead of having all this weight on your wrist, a lot of the things you can also do by putting your arms here on top of the blocks. It, the shape is almost the same, and you will see that a lot of the poses are really accessible but like this. So if you find your tabletop here, press away from the floor, activate your upper body and then extend your right leg back. You can place your foot on your toes in the floor here. Find a little bit more stability by swifting your way to your right hand and then extending your left arm here. Okay, let's do that on the other side. Extend the left leg, put your toes in the floor, swifting the way to the left, extending your right arm here. Okay, you can keep doing this or make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. Right leg goes off the floor and then we switch. And we've done this basically also when we were standing and we were using the chair. If you remember from previous class, try to be your inhale here, exhale when you switch. Inhale, extend, exhale when you put your hands in your new back. Okay, keep going in your own pace. Call this the Superman. So you can find your balance here in the middle. Keep looking at the floor. Okay, last time here. The right side and on the left side. We can also do cat cow here in tabletop. We're gonna tilt the pelvis so that the tailbone goes up to the ceiling and that makes your back arch here, your belly and your chest come closer to the floor, you look up. And then on an exhale, you 
tilting your pelvis so your tailbone goes down to the floor. You're bringing your lower back. You're bringing your lower back, your upper back, towards the ceiling. Press away from the floor and maybe your chin goes to your chest. Okay, let's keep doing that. And this is called cat pose. And this is called cow pose. Okay, if you want, you can extend it by bringing your right leg into the movement. So on an inhale, you're lifting up your right leg. On an exhale, you're bringing your right leg under you, making yourself small and round. On an inhale, bring that leg up. You can have it extended like this or maybe even bent. And on an and exhale, you bring it under you, like you would like to touch your nose with your knee. Okay, keep doing that for two more times. And then after you brought your leg under you, you kind of make a big step with this right leg a little bit to the front and you can put a little bit to the side so you keep both hands on the inside of your right leg. So the floor might feel very far away here. So that's why I like to use blocks here in this pose to kind of bring the floor closer to you. You can walk your hands a little bit further forward. Also your right foot can go as far, far forward as you want, but bend here at this right leg and then kind of bring the hips down a little bit. Then on your exhale, you move your weight back and then you, you try to extend that right leg and then bring up your toes here. Your hands can move backwards and then you try to fold yourself down. Okay, your inhale will be come down and press up, lengthening the front of the body. And your exhale will be lengthening the back of the body. So the back of this leg and then all the way to the back of your upper body. We're going to do this three more times. Just make the movement as big or as small as your body allows you to make it. Okay, last time. And then stay to the front with this right leg bent here. You can still use your blocks or place your hand on the floor. Press away with your left hand. You can place your right hand on top of your right leg and then opening up and twisting a little bit. Take this right hand overhead. Okay. Both hands come back to the floor, move a little bit to the back. So you can take this right leg out here to the back. Back to tabletop. We're going to do the other side here. So we're going to start off by the cat-cow pose. And then using the left leg by lifting it up on your inhale and bringing it under you, making yourself small here on an exhale. Don't forget to arch your back here, opening the chest. Maybe even look up. And then make yourself small, bending your left leg here, maybe even bring your head down on an exhale. Okay, last time. Then bring your left leg forward. 
And both your hands go to the inside of your left foot. Move your hips, your, your foot and your hands further to the front of your mat if you have the space for it. Or decide to use your blocks here. Bring your hips closer to the ground, press yourself away from the floor here, opening up. And then exhale, bring your hips back. Try to extend this left leg, bring your toes up and you fold yourself forward. Okay, keep doing this at your own pace. Extending the front while you inhale, extending the back when you exhale. You can keep your hands on the same spot or you let them move from front to back. Okay, last time here, stay to the front of the mat. Your left leg is bent, your right hand goes under your right shoulder. We're gonna twist here, open up, bring your left arm up. Okay, left arm, hand goes down, press away from the floor, take your left leg out and come back to tabletop. Okay, front of here, we're opening up the knees a little bit. We're bringing the weight back, so our buttocks goes to our heels. And what we can do, and we don't need blocks for this, but you can use them still, is you bring your arms underneath you. So you hold up your upper body here, or if you can extend your arms, you can even lower your head closer to the floor. And this is a child pose. Okay, let's come up from here, tuck your toes under and lift up your knees and try to lift up your hips as well. Of course, you can find a little bit stability here by um, having your hands on your thighs or even getting your stool here so you get a little bit more support for your upper body. And then you bend your knees and you push either push yourself away from your stool or kind of away from your legs and then roll up on an inhale okay let's do another inhale take these arms overhead and exhale let your hands come in front of your chest so i'm going to take the stool away for now because we're going to do something what's called a waterfall um, salutation. It's a very small salutation without having to completely go back to the ground, which, for example, some salutation you will. Okay, you can stand as wide as you want with your legs. I'm going to show it from this side. You can stand anywhere on your mat. So circle sweeps your arms overhead. Watch your hands here. Bring your hands together and like a drop of water is falling on your forehead. And then with um, your, your spine as neutral as possible, you kind of push your hips backwards. Bend your knees a little bit. And then when you cannot bend any further, you bend your knees more, you round your back, and then you come up on an inhale. So we are not... I'm showing you this without the touch. My, my hands are not touching my legs or the stool, but of course, this is totally possible to do it with the stool. And then like, have yourself a little bit help while you do this bending forward. Okay, repeat for yourself. Like three more times. Try to 
see if you can lengthen your complete body when you inhale and watch your hands go overhead. Keep your spine as neutral as possible, hinge from the hips and then slowly, fluently come up again. Okay, the last one. And then we're gonna stay standing. So just bring your hands in front of your chest. Perfect. Okay, from here, we're gonna take a big step forward. If by any means you need or you want to take your hands on top of a chair, uh, a stool next to you, please go ahead. And otherwise, come stand a little bit in the middle of your mat. Your, my left leg was stepped forward, my right leg is back here. My heel is up, I'm bending this left leg and I'm making sure that my foot is supporting my left leg. And if it feels good, you can extend your arms here overhead. You don't have to touch, but if you can, that's totally fine as well. Okay, high lunge pose here. Let's turn from this high lunge pose. Put this right heel on the floor and open to the side. Let's the, arm, the arms come on shoulder height here. Okay, the more you're bending this left leg, the harder it will get. So if you want, just bend a little bit more. Okay, your left arm is coming up. Watch your left hand. Your right arm is going alongside your right leg here. Extend the left side. And then take your left arm on top of your left leg. Take your right arm overhead. Maybe bending this left leg a little bit more. Okay. Come up, straightening out this left leg. And then do the arms again. Take your left arm up into the sky. Right arm goes down, extend to the left. Then come back with your arms on shoulder height. And then you extend through this left arm you kind of hinge in this left hip only. And then you kind of turn your upper body so your left hand comes to your left lower leg. Okay, what you can do here is you can place your hands on top of your leg. You can use a block on the inside or on the outside of your leg. Or you can kind of hold it here, that's also fine. And your stool. Eh? Remember, I think we've done this before. Use the stool. Okay, extend through all your legs and all your arms. Okay, you're doing so good. Okay, come back to the middle. If you have your blocks here, it would be great to use them. Otherwise, just place your hands on the floor. And then we're going to either have the blocks. Let's put them on the middle height or hands on the floor, bend his left leg a little bit, and then one or two steps, we're gonna step back into downward facing dog. Keep these, these legs bent a little bit, press away from the floor, your blocks, hips in the air. Okay, from here, you bending your legs a little bit and you walk in your hands towards your feet. And then come up on the next inhale. Take your arms overhead. Okay, we're gonna step with the right foot forward. So I'm just placing the blocks a little bit to the side. We're gonna do the same thing. Big step with your right leg and make sure that the step is big enough for you to kind of lengthen out, for you to lengthen out this left leg, bending this right one. Okay, find some stability here. Activate your core muscles here and then inhale, take your arms overhead. Lunge, high lunge. Okay, let's turn to the side. Let's put this left heel on the floor. Open up to the side and bring your arms a little bit more on shoulder height. Okay, 
right leg, still bend here. Warrior two. Let's go to Sun Warrior or Reforce Warrior. We take the right arm up, left arm goes down. Extend through this right side. Bring the right arm on top of the right leg, left arm overhead. And maybe even lower your hips a little bit. And then you press yourself up again. And remember, this stool can go right here. Press yourself up. Straighten out this right leg. Extend the right side. Kind of hinge here in this right hip. And then turn your upper body so your right hand goes to your right leg. Or if you have the stool here on the inside. Exactly the same. You decide how low you want to go and how much support you need. Okay, let's turn and bring either both hands to the floor or just uh, back from here. So if I show you the downward dog again, let's use the blocks. Step with your right leg backwards. Bring your hips up. Okay, always nice in downward dog to bend and straighten out these legs a little bit. And then let's move back to the floor. Put your knees down. Okay, if you want, you can add um, Savasana. So um, make it comfortable for yourself. Go lie down um, for a few more minutes. Make sure that you're nice and warm. Just take as much time as you need. I'm already going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.